Why am I not a talented person to you who are ordinary but are willing to be ordinary? The girl have just received an admission notice of a university. The teacher said, "Congratulations, your efforts finally have been rewarded." At the orientation of the university, the seniors said, "Welcome. You will gain a lot here. Exactly. You will have the opportunity to explore and learn in the forest." So on the registration day. She was so confident and excited about her colorful university life. Soon, they really went to explore and learn in the forest, and the teacher introduced a lot of plants to them. But on the test day, her grades were not satisfactory, and her enthusiasm and confidence died. She began to think about, why can't I do it well? She started to pay attention to her classmates. Gloria, she is good at memorization. She never forgets at a glance. Devon has a strong interest in plants since childhood. He is familiar with most of the common plants. Lucy is very meticulous. She can always notice the subtle differences in plants. So she concluded that I have no talent. I can never do as well as they do. The teacher noticed her frustration and said, "Don't jump to conclusions too soon. Let me show you what I have seen." In the teacher's world, Gloria is really good at remembering, but the prerequisite is that she always squeezes to the front of the crowd. And observes carefully. Devon appears to be at ease in the test, just because he self-studied a lot in secondary school, and spent almost all his free time researching the plants around him. Lucy's meticulousness works because she carefully organizes the characteristics of each plant and the differences among them. The teacher then added, "Everyone has unique talents. The challenge lies in discovering your own talents." And before the teacher finished speaking, the girl interjected, "I understand. Talent also needs effort as soil to sprout and grow." Years later, at the orientation again, the girl told this story to the new students. The new students asked, "What happened afterwards?" The girl answered, "That's a long, long story. You will see me next semester in molecular biology, and maybe then you will find the answer." The story ended there. Written at the end, talents doesn't mean superpower and is not rare. Your personality, interest. And confidence can all be your unique talents. Having talents doesn't mean success either. Without the effort to match it, your talent will forever be a pile of precious but useless raw materials. That's all the content of this picture book, and then I will briefly introduce how I designed it. The theme of this picture book came from a conversation I had in college with my senior sister in the same lab. She is also the main character of this book. At that time, I had just started to do cell experiments and encountered a lot of difficulties, operations, knowledge, ideas, and so on. When I was lost and frustrated, I turned to the senior sister, who was considered to be very talented. So she told me this story. She said she also struggled and explored for a long time before she found what she was really good at and loved. After listening to her story, I had a more comprehensive and deeper understanding of the so-called talent, and began to try to discover my own talent and slowly regain self-confidence. I believe that at any stage of life, earlier or later. 
people will experience the struggle between talent and mediocrity. So I completed the book in conjunction with both my and my senior sister's experience, in which the character of the teacher is real, and the characters of students are the fictions and fictions based on my classmates, in order to show different types of talents. I hope this story and the ideas that I carefully designed to convey in this book will give the readers some direction and encouragement.